Can you tell me what this structure is? Hi, my name is Stephanie, and this is Brain Bites, where we discuss the brain and spinal cord imaging in bites. Today, we're discussing a 64-year-old woman who presents with headaches. If you guessed a central neurocytoma, you'd be correct. Central neurocytomas are a who grade 2 tumor that affects the ages of 20 and 40 years old 70% of the time. They affect males and females equally. They're usually located at the lateral ventricles, pushing against the septum pellucidum. Signs and symptoms include increased intracranial pressure, and treatment includes total resection or subtotal resection with radiotherapy and or chemotherapy. In CTs, central neurocytomas can appear as isodense or hypodense. This can be seen if we look at the transverse view of the brain. Here we see a mass on the left lateral ventricle. Because of this location, central neurocytomas can obstruct the flow of cerebral spinal fluid and lead to hydrocephalus. In the coronal view, we see the mass inside the patient's left ventricle again. It sits along the septum pellucidum, and you can also see the apparent cystic areas within the tumor. There are various ways to evaluate MRI imaging. C2 is used to highlight tissue based off of water content, and here it's used to detect abnormalities where there may be increased water, like in this example where we can distinctly see a heterogeneous mass along the septum pellucidum highlighting the central neurocytoma surrounded by cerebral spinal fluid. T1 is used to show the anatomy of the brain and structures clearly, which is helpful to identify normal versus abnormal anatomy. In this example, we see a T1 pre-contrast versus a T1 post-contrast, which illuminates the pathology of the central neurocytoma, again, pushing against that septum pellucidum. Differential diagnoses for central neurocytomas include ependymomas, subependymomas, meningiomas, amongst others. Ependymomas are usually seen in the posterior fossa or fourth ventricle, and these are more frequent in childhood. And here is an example with the blue line pointing towards the ependymoma. Subependymomas are usually found in the fourth ventricle. They're more frequent in older patients, and they are less likely to have enhancement. And here we see in this orange-brown color, we have the arrow pointing at the subependymoma in the fourth ventricle. Lastly, we have meningiomas, which are usually found in the occipital horns, and they are usually seen with the homogeneous enhancement. And we have, again, an example of a meningioma in this highlighter pink color. So if you're out on the wards and you see a heterogeneous enhancing mass associated with the septum pellucidum, your first thought should be a central neurocytoma. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to look out for more content on the Learn Neuroradiology YouTube page and website.